oh my gosh, things were just ducky at this yard sale. Okay, I can't get much cheesier than that. So let's just get to the haul. Hi, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. I am a full-time reseller and part-time trying to figure everything else out in my life kind of person. And last week I went to a day of yard sales on Friday. I will post a link to the video down below in the comments from just kind of the vlog of going along with me on that if you're interested in seeing it. But we are going to have rapidish fire three, maybe four haul videos, depending on how long they take from the yard sales that I went to. We're going to start with the first one and literally there are a lot of ducks involved. So make sure you get your ducks in a row, grab some snacks. I shouldn't take too long as long as I avoid more cheesy puns, but I don't know if I can help myself because I'm kind of good at them. And uh, let's go. So I got this little guy. Ducks sell well and I'm really was looking for, I don't have any more hard goods to list. I've listed all of my inventory on those. Been selling little things very quickly. Um, so got this little guy. I need some place to put the, hmm, hold on. There's a cabinet here. I'm just gonna open it up and put them on the shelf inside. There we go, right there. Look at me problem solving. Um, let's see, was this one? This little guy was vintage brass. I think there's another one that goes with him. This is, I like the price on that, just a cute little handmade letter clip, something for the desk. Uh, let's see. Oh, this pewter. Oops. This is heavy. Oh my gosh, by the way. Um, made in Hong Kong. Let me get this guy together. And he is just a cute little trinket box. But like I said, heavy. Um, I may list him first on oh he's a little uneven i didn't notice that oh no there he's fine he's a little uneven um he's got a number on the bottom and made in hong kong there may be another mark there that i can't quite see but he's super cute but i may list him on posh first um he could go to regional a box though for not much so actually he's fine there i list everything on ebay first usually because one poshmark nothing selling and two um yeah i'm kind of mad at poshmark so but also I've just been selling more on eBay for pretty much the last year. Uh, and the recent changes did not help. They were kind of neck and neck and now there's a clear winner. These I was super excited to find. I sold a pair of these. I got them at a yard sale, estate sale clear out. These were two bucks for um, not much, a different pair over a year ago. And I sold them for my full asking price of $36. So I am just going to add these to the listing, sell some, um, I don't even need to sell similar. These do have a few more scuffs on them than the ones that I sold. So I may have to take a close up and add it, but otherwise I can use the same pictures and everything because they're the same little tongs. So that was cute. Mm, what else? I'm trying to go fast-ish. I did pick up this vintage glasses case for a dollar because it's a vintage glasses case. I mean, seriously, it does actually have the <laughs> doctor's card in there. I wonder if that's a vintage card. Anyway, um, it's a hard case for very thin ladies glasses and it's definitely got wear, but it's super usable and also a great prop, things like that. Uh, like I said earlier, Thrilling Vintage does a studio rental and one of the studios rented a Dooney and Burke purse that I had, which means that they gave me 35% of the cost for it. And they've had it for a month. They're actually going to just end up buying it because they need it for longer. So nice. But little things like this are a great thing to have on hand. Plus they're so cute and so cute for a little dressing table. So I always love things like that. All right. I did pick up only two pieces of clothing at that sale. This is an alpaca blend Talbot's vintage just a really cute, this is a size small cardigan, zip front. Um, Talbot sells pretty well for me at a decent price. Just because there are people who are looking for it, they know the quality. And this is alpaca made in Peru. It's cotton alpaca, like 80% cotton, 85% cotton, a little bit of alpaca. But as long as it has over 5%, you can call it an alpaca blend. So we're safe. All right. Uh, I got this cute little planter. It is 
a little a little boy, a little snow baby, and this is from JJ Newberry and Co. Five, ten, and twenty-five cent stores. I mean, how cute is that? So, just a little pink dude. I need another cupboard. All right, <laughs> so someone's gonna come over. Why do you have all of these knickknacks in your pantry? It's fine. Just go with it. All right, what else have we got in here? Like I said, trying to go semi-fast uh, because I'm going to film four of these. Uh, this, I did get a whole bunch of these. This is made in Japan. Uh, these are a little, and it has a little scene on it. It does have some rust and denting. These are little ashtrays, and I figured I could just lot them together. Um, this one was 25 cents. It's heart-shaped. I don't know if that's an ashtray or like a... A spoon holder it's in the shape of a spade and it has like a stag on it uh, this is a flower brass that's just a little trinket dish this one's China so it's but it's still vintage and then this is a Native American um, looks like a Thunderbird there and it has some writing on the back I'll have to try and figure out and it looks like there used to be a sticker on the back not sure um, but I'm going to have to do some research on them to see if I should lot them together or sell them separately. My impulse right now is just lot them, but I would normally pick up ashtrays, but for that price, I thought, why not? And I love the vintage. It's just, a, it's just a thing. All right. What else have we got in here that I'm, I have another sweater in there, but I don't want to pull it out because I think there's something wrapped in it. Um, oops. Hold on just a second. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. This is a little quail and birds I like to sell. Um, this is not too heavyweight. This is Home Co. 1981, made in Mexico. So just cute, vintage, in good condition. Of course, I'll always have to look over everything again because I miss things just like we all do. Ooh, look, I'm back. Oh, it's also quite warm because you know summer so that said oh we can do the sweater this is a sweater I don't know the brand and I didn't take the time to look it up it is Shiva Shira Novelli made in Italy it's a size large and it's just this really cute snap front wool I assume cardigan did I look? Is there? Oh, look, there it is. Dry clean only. Yes, wool. And then the back and the sleeves are merino wool and acrylic. It is like probably it's I would say it's vintage, but maybe 90s, maybe early 2000s. Anyway, so it's got sweater knit here. And then the front is like more felted wool. Really cute. Made in Italy. Can't go wrong. I love Italy, by the way. All right. Um, then I grabbed this little purse, which everything was in <laughs> and it's got these cool wooden handles. It is the brand VA Rackley that had another really cute purse that was woven with wood handles, but they wanted $20 for it. This they wanted two. I took the $2 one. Um, the other one didn't have a brand name or anything on it. And so I would have had to try and do a lot more sleuthing on the spot to pay that much for it. All right, let me put that down. Ooh, we got some pictures. So I like to pick up just little prints and art that's weird because it sells. So this ooh, is very water damaged <laughs> and aged, which I will use, there you go. Um, it is signed down here and I think it's a pencil drawing, but I'm not sure if it's really that because on the back, there is a stamp there that says curly locks. Obviously girls got curly. Um, she looks a little like me when I was a whippersnapper. Um, I will market this as distressed, aged, like den, something like that. Um, could be cute in a baby's room too if we did a little whitewash on this. Actually black is good, helps baby's eyes focus, black and white. Um, I picked up this. There were two prints. This is Gregory F. Messier. Again, or Ducky. Uh, I think it's probably just a print. It has this little 
fish thing there. But it's a really nice wooden frame. It's like good quality, but not too heavy, but it's substantial. And it's well framed in the back. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that, but for the price of it, I will be able to sell that for $20 at least. So it was worth it. Uh, hopefully I'll sell it for a little more, but who knows with the current state of things. Okay, I was leaving. There's still more in that bag, but this is on top, so I'll go for it. And I just went back to get the other bag and I saw this cute little celluloid set and it's marked here. I can't really read it. I'm going to have to use my loop. Um, but it has ivory pyrele. It's, I mean, it's celluloid. It's not really ivory because that wouldn't be sellable. <laughs> but um, it has a little trinket box. And then it has this, I feel, is like a tissue holder or a powder puff holder. I don't know. And then this, like if that's the powder puff holder, then this is another little trinket box. This one looks like it, aha, I think this is a powder box. It can still see the remnants of powder in there, which <coughs> can also inhale the remnants of powder. I might try to clean that out, but it's just a sweet little three piece vanity set and in very good condition. There is just a slight discoloring right there. Um, but yeah, and if I think it's celluloid, but if you know anything else, I'll have to get my loop out and I'll be able to do a little more research once I can actually read what's on the bottom. Okie dokie, what else? Ooh, we've got some things that she wrapped. So this was the first sale I went to. I actually drove by it because it was on a corner and there was a truck. I thought he was just leaving his place, but no, it was where the sale was. So I went back. Um, this is something, something and the USA. And I just loved the shell shape. Is it Cuddy, Eddie? Here we go. Something, something USA ink. I don't know if you can see that there, but Mm, oh, it does have a place that I didn't notice where the glaze didn't fully take. That's not a chip. It does have that on the back as well. So that's just a glaze flaw. But for a dollar, I don't care. It's a cute little trinket dish. Someone will love it. And that's just a fun color. Uh, probably 60s, maybe 70s. Is my guess. If you have a different opinion, let me know. Okay, I got all these little guys because they were so cheap and I have been doing pretty well with cute little animal um, figurines. So these were a dollar each and they both have the little butterfly on them. So it's the elephant and the burrow and it has a 767 on the bottom of that one, a 766. This one looks like it did have a sticker there, probably Taiwan or Japan. Does this one have a sticker? No, but they're just cute little men or ladies, whoever. All right, they have to go back there. They're gonna <laughs> farther into the cupboard. I'm still figuring out how I'm filming and all that kind of stuff down here. So we're just going with it, you know. Let's see. Oh, I got this dish, which looks a little mid-century modern to me. Oh yeah, uh, Lane and Company Van uh nice n-u-y-s california 1957 number 444 um this one i wanted five dollars for and i went ahead and paid it i think the averaging out of everything will be fine i spent 40 with the celluloid pieces i said 46 but 48 dollars total at this sale all right okay this duck oh no she broke it in the transport um it was unflawed, which is why I got it, because it's this amazing seed duck. So ceramic and then seed feathers, but there's one that is broken right now, and it was not broken when I picked it up. It is made in... Uruguay, maybe? Not sure. Anyway... It was perfect. It is no longer perfect. It was $2 and I'm kind of sad about that. It's also going to be delicate to ship, which is fine, but 
was perfection and now it's flawed. Put it in there so it can stay in the pantry with all the other sunflower seeds. All right, this little cutie is a horse, oh, a horse while scratching himself. He does have a little bit of a nick right on his ear again. Did not notice that when I picked him up. So that could have happened when they were moving him around. Um, but it also looks like it's just where they didn't fully glaze because this side is perfect. Um, anyway, he's super cute. Super cute. And let's see here. Oh, this little lady is this sweet little girl with her bunny rabbit. And this is handcrafted in Italy, so I'm assuming it's marble. Could be mica. I'm hoping it's not mica, because mica chips a lot. I have two birds that are mica, which may never sell, which is fine. Uh, I got them for quite cheap. Anyway, she's super sweet, and she is signed G.R. on the back there, so I'll have to look that up and see if I can find anything. But she's, like, how cute would that be for a little girl's room? Or just someone who collects these sorts of things. Very comforting. Um, This is the inside of that bowl. So I liked that. I did pick up one piece of jewelry there and I spent more on it than I would normally would for one piece, but it was signed. It's Kramer, which I didn't take the time to look up, but it's also a little donkey with a pearl or faux pearl. So he's gold toned and I just thought that was unique and kind of fun. So grabbed that. Why not? All right, we are down to, I think, our last little packet of goodies from that sale. So I'm trying to go quickly as possible because, like I said, I got more to film. Um, I got this. Oh, well, she's a dollar. I'll leave her on. This cute little chicken. So adorable. Um, I feel like these are too big and too colored to be Wade Whimsies, and they're not signed. I think Wade Whimsies are usually signed. But just a little ceramic thing. How easy is that going to be to ship and also to photograph? So I'm also just looking for things that I can go really quickly on in the photographing process. So I did buy some things for that reason. This is a Joseph original in Japan, and it is a super cute little froggy woo. Do, 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 do. And I have so many frogs on the farm with a little snail on his butt. I mean, like you can't go wrong with a snail butt. Uh, so the bottom is marked up and a little dirty and I'll probably leave it that way. I'm not going to try and clean it. It's patina, not filth. Let's see. Will you sit? Ooh, don't mm, stay. And last but not least, I got this little elephant. Just a cute little guy with his trunk up. He's Japan marked on the bottom and just a cute little sweetie. So I might do like a little lot of some of the small animals together. Again, I'll do some research, see if I can find anything on them. If not, then we'll just keep going. Okay, let me put that down before I make more noise. Let me know what you thought. So this was definitely a vintage kind of hard goody or decor or tchotchke. Let's go with tchotchke sort of haul. Is there anything that you loved in this one? Anything you're like, why did you pick that up, girl? Let me know down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, of course, please subscribe. I need to remember to say that at the beginning of the videos. <sighs> um, but also give this a thumbs up. For those of you who do and who watch the videos all the way through, I so appreciate it. It means a ton as I'm trying to get YouTube to like remember that I exist and help more people find the channel so we can have more friends and I can keep doing this because I really love spending time with you and sharing with you all the things that are going on. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this haul and probably not gonna change. I'm probably just gonna go film the next one after I clean all this up since I didn't really think about the fact that I am have all the hard goods now. All right, I will see you later, alligators. Bye.